Ooh, we even have a fire here. The Congo, it's been ages. Oh, it's you. The nights are cruel in this region. If you don't light a fire, the cold will sap your strength away. I've painted many landscapes in my life, but that tiny island floating in the distance may be the most mysterious of all. Who put that strange little island up there? It's a fascinating shape, easy to paint too. You should go see it for yourself once the weather clears up a little. Okay. Um. So we want chill shroom. No. We want. Yes. Chill shrooms. You're not a chill shroom. You're a sky shroom. Chill shroom. Uh, cool even in arid regions. So we want you. What does five of them get me? Is it longer duration? We've got lots of them, so I can play around a bit. 12 minutes of heat resistance. That is good. We'll make a couple of those. That should be enough to get me to where I need to go. Among the Gerudo. Without wasting too much time. So do I want to attempt to fly most of the way with the tower? I think I do. Don't see any reason not to. Alright, so I want to be going... I guess I can see on the map which way I want to go. I want to go this way. So that's got to be the bazaar down there. Which it might be nice to stop at on our way. Ooh, it does have a shrine. Even better. <laughs> that did not help at all because I'm falling. put on my diving armor, but it's fine. Hey there, strangers. Pat yourself on the back for making it here. That's no mean feat. Traveling in the desert is really tough. Take one step off the road and you'll be up to your knees in sand. If you plan on walking, plan on walking slow. Honestly, it almost makes me wish I'd thought ahead and borrowed a sand seal right at the start. But I swore to myself that I was going to take the this investigation one step at a time, and I meant that literally. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's cold. You're going to freeze out here if you're not prepared. The swinging temperature from day to day or from day to night, it sure makes traveling tricky. Preparation is the key. I always keep elixirs on hand that can heat me up or cool me down. Without them, I'd be done for. Sava, sava. Mm -hmm. hmm? Another Hylian, huh? I commend you and those merchants for making it here under these abnormal conditions. <sighs> but the area south of Karkar Bazaar is covered in the sand shroud right now, so visibility is extremely low. Then there are the eyewitness reports of strange monsters. I won't think any less of you if you call off your trip here. Ah. Besides, this oasis is under the protection of us Gerudo soldiers, so you know it's safe. It's a safe place to rest and relax. Alright, so there's some sort of sand blocking the way of getting to the city. Saba. I mean, Saba Saba. That was close. If the others heard me, they'd definitely chew me out for using slang on duty. 
My mentor has entrusted me with decorating a weapon in a stylish way. She told me to make it sparkle and that it must radiate burning passion, but I don't know what she's talking about. She's all got an allergy to monsters too, so that means monster parts are off limits. You want a weapon for someone who is allergic to monsters and monster parts. That is a worthless weapon. Like, you can't actually attack things if you're that allergic. If I just had a weapon I could use as a reference for where to start, that would help a lot. Huh. Sparkle and radiate burning passion. I mean, the obvious things would either be to stick a... Uh... Fruit that burns, or a ruby, or topaz onto one of those like lightning rods. Oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, is this yours? Those rations are for the soldiers. The sand shroud is wrecking havoc on our supply uh, of provisions right now. Sorry, but if you need something, check the shop. Hmm, you're an unfamiliar face. Are you a member of that caravan squad heading to Gerudo Town? Gerudo Town? Gerudo Town is to the southwest of here. It's the biggest town in the region. That said, the laws of the Gerudo forbid Vo men from entering the town. Though Vo or not, under this terrible sand shroud, it would take a near miracle to reach the town in the first place. Oh. I recommend that you follow the example of the Vo of the caravan squad and give up on even trying for now. Caravan squad. They're a group of Hylian merchants. It's not as though they can do business in the Sand Shroud, so they're helping out by guarding the entrance here. <laughs> it's clear their plan is to gain access to Grotto Town by getting into our good graces. But our law about Vo is absolute. We couldn't let them in even if we wanted to. Oh. Well, in any case, the Sand Shroud is particularly harsh for you Hylians, so you should just stay here. Hey! Late enough for you? Well, what do you think? I sound just like your average Hylian shopkeeper, right? You're natural. I know, right? My kid sister taught me. She's traveled all over the place. I can teach you some Gerudo if you want. My products have prices, but my Gerudo lessons are free. Teach me Gerudo. I'd be happy to. Then let's start with greetings. What's the nighttime greeting in Gerudo? Saba Saba. Ding ding ding. That's right. I had a feeling you'd get that one. Actually, Saba is also correct, but you mostly hear it from younger Gerudo. As a businesswoman, I try to keep my language strictly professional. The va part is pronounced by biting your lip as you say it. Va. Va. <laughs> so, think you got it figured out? Anything else, Slugger? Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Alright, you're a vo, a man, so... There won't be many places for you to use Gerudo even if you do learn it, since you can't enter Gerudo Town. Hi. If the heat bothers you... Bye. The sock. I sell one of the latest fashion crazes straight from Gerudo Town. If you're after the Desert Vo headband, you've come to the right place. It used to be hard for Vo to get their hands on it. Not only is what I sell a fashionable choice, it's also great at staving off the desert heat. And even if you've already got one, why settle for just that one when you could get another in a different color? A different color? Using dye to change the colors of clothes is a big thing when young Vi travel around Hyrule. If you're interested, there's a store in Hateno Village in the eastern edge of Hyrule, the Kochi Dye Shop. Hateno Village used to be a quiet, peaceful little town, you know? But now it's a tourist hotspot. Some folks consider it the center for all things fashionable. Anything else you need? Maybe later. That headband is the last one I have, you know? If you buy it, I'll tell you a super secret spe special secret technique. No, I'll tell you a super special secret that even most Gerudo don't know. For 450, heat resistance? Sure. Ah, caught your eye, huh? I knew it. It's a must-have for any fashionable Vo that is trying to live that hot desert life. <laughs> that headband is the last one I have. You know, if you buy it, I'll tell you a super special secret that even most Gerudo don't know. That can be all yours for the low price of 450 rupees. Sure. 
The fact that she mentions even if you have one makes me think there are other places to get them, possibly even uh, for free for doing quests or whatever. But, I don't know, I'm just going to buy it here. <laughs> but if I find a spot where we get one for free shortly, I'm going to be disappointed. Sark, since you were kind enough to buy the last one, I'll keep my promise and tell you that secret. The headband you just bought is only one part of the Desert Vo series. There's also a Spalder and Trousers. But you have to go to a special place to get them. Have you heard of the store Fashion Passion in Grudo Town? Well, the secret shop is located behind that store. Oh, now that I think about it, Vo aren't allowed in Grudo Town. Forget I said anything. You're just another shopkeeper. All right. Saw the merchants over there. Well, let's see what you have. Lots of choo-choo jelly. I'll take your arrows. The desert is a dangerous place. My products make it less so. How many do you want? All of them. Sock so. Thank you. What about you? Oh, we've got more people. Are you also stuck here thanks to the sand shroud? Ugh, is it ever going to let up? I came out here to investigate the ruins that fell around the Dig Dog Bridge. But the intense daytime heat and the cold nights have messed with my skin, so I figured I'd take some time off at the spa. Huh? But thanks to the Sand Shroud, I can't get to Gerudo Town. This is just the worst. Ugh. <laughs> okay, I'm fine now. Just needed to turn this frown upside down. No wrinkles, just have to unfurl my brow. Which I do, no sweat. If I could just take advantage of the spa plan, ugh. Uh. There's a skilled... A statistician in Gerudo Town named Roma. The fluffy beds here are great and all, but I hear Roma's spa plan is something else entirely. Apparently nothing else can make you feel as relaxed and refreshed as it does. I just want to soothe my poor skin and bone-tired body. Excavating at Dig Dog Bridge has been exhausting. Ugh. <laughs> okay, I'm fine now. No need to turn this... Just need to turn this frown upside down. No wrinkles, just have to unfrow my brow. If I read three big ideas one more time, I'm going to start seeing the pages in my dreams. Had I known I'd be stuck waiting this long, I would have at least brought a real book or a newspaper or anything else. Read the Zonai survey team's three big ideas? Sure, surveying shrines. The mysterious ruins that appeared due to the upheaval with strange dome-like protrusions were calling shrines. They are believed to be from the Zonai civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. When observing shrines, as well as fallen ruins, take note of their shape, the sky above, and the surrounding environment. Chasms. Large holes appeared all over the world after the upheaval. They released gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Directly co direct contact should be avoided. If the effects of gloom are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm, the chasm immediately. Before entering any chasm, be sure to ask permission from Joshua, the leader of the chasm. Chat. Chasm. For whatever reason, that word is now causing my brain issues. Chasm surveys. Our team's purpose. We of the Zonai survey team were founded and tasked by Princess Zelda to study ruins and ancient documents. Through the lens of archaeological understanding, it is her hope that we will uncover the deep history of Hyrule. Due to the upheaval, many ruins from the Zonai civilization came crashing down from the sky. We have known very little of the Zonai, but we may now have evidence that their culture once flourished in the sky above. Our chief executive is Taro, the first individual in the world to, fill a, to find a clue to deciphering Zonai script. Our current surveys are wholly focused on learning more about the Zonai civilization. Research results are shared out to specialists at the base in Kakrika Village. Stop reading. Um... Excuse me. Yes, I see you. Will be use will you be using the inn? The regular bed is twenty rupees, the soft bed is thirty rupees. Actually, never mind. If you're looking for conversation, go talk to Kachu in at the general store. You're a traveler, right? Do you happen to know anything about Laurelin Village? Laurelin Village? If you haven't even heard of it, I can't expect you to know its fate. Loyola Village is on Hyrule's southeastern coast. It's a small fishing town. I used to run an inn there until a gang of pirates descended upon us. I fled all the way back with nothing but the clothes on my back. And what do I find out here? A terrible sand shroud and mysterious monsters lurking about. I don't know what to do with myself now. 
I mean, Laurelin Village is saved. Have you heard anything about Laurelin Village? Apparently not. I can't tell her that there's no pirates, but we haven't rebuilt it yet. All right, I think that's everything here. Let's talk to these guys and then we'll take on that shrine. Oh, I didn't see you. Hello. Huh? Oh, I must have fallen asleep. I remember you, guy. Hi. Oh, Gudavaba. No, that isn't right. I just combined good evening with the Grudo Savasaba. A sign I've been here too long, perhaps. Which reminds me, I've heard all sorts of new greetings lately, like Volta and Sava. Should I be using those instead? Oh. Another Hylian stranded by the Sand Shroud, I take it? How challenging life without wings must be. The higher you go, the thinner the Shroud gets, so we Rito can soar right over it. For us, it's little more than a sandy fog. Sand Shroud? Have you seen the thick layer of sand over the desert? That is the Sand Shroud. Should you be caught in it, not only will it obscure your vision, but it will also make your compass go haywire. Thanks to that updraft over there, however, this oasis is secure. I've never been inside the Sand Shroud myself, we Rito can simply fly over it. Be careful not to get your feathers rustled by the Sand Shroud. Good work for now. No, sorry, that was supposed to be... A that was a little bit goodbye and a little bit savork. Look, you knew what I meant. Just take care out there. Hey! Saba Saba! Mm hmm. That was perfect. Bissa, if I do say so myself. Ah. ah, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Good on you for saying hello. Who are we? We were the first men who will officially do business with the Grudo, the Vo Caravan Squad. If you too want to go to Gerudo Town, you would do well to make friends with us, Vo Caravan Squad. We're a group of merchants and friends who have long dreamed of doing business in Gerudo Town. Oh, we Vo is... Oh, and Vo is the Gerudo word for man. Vo is the word to know. If you don't understand at least one word in their language, the Gerudo will never accept you. And we should know. We've spent years here trying to curry favor with them in any way we could. They are finally entrusted us with protecting the western entrance to the Karakara Bazaar. I've lost count of the number of times I've been swatted with the flat of the guard's spear. They mistake me for some lowly opportunist. Grudo Town. Grudo Town is located straight out of this gate. It's a town made by Grudo for Grudo, which means it's full of Grudo. And to us, that means it's a utopia. Captain, not so loud. You're going to give the Grudo a bad impression of us? Hmm. So, sorry, Robston. It just slipped out. Oh. Ahem. Anyway, the Gruta have a law forbidding males from enter the, entering their town. Keeping us shut out only makes us all the more curious, though. I mean, that's just common sense. Mm. We were hoping to raise the Vo Caravan Squad's likability by gallantly rescuing the Gruta ladies from the Sand Shroud. But the Sand Shroud doesn't just block our vision, it confuses our compasses, too. We got lost in about five seconds. In the end, it was the Gruta ladies who ended up gallantly rescuing us. Still, maybe if we prove our muster as gate guards, the Grudo Town will make an exception and welcome us as heroes. <laughs> Get a load of this orb. Seems really old and really expensive, don't you think? I hear there's someone in Grudo Town who's investigating all the ancient whatchamacallits. So once I get into town, I'm planning on finding somebody who knows their stuff about this stuff. <laughs> um, uh, you do know that the Sand Shroud makes compasses stop working, right? You're not really think of trying to push your way through it, are you? It's even more dangerous right now in the cold of the night. Just don't do it. Oh. It took years and years of regular visits, but we've finally started to convince the Grudo that they can depend on us. So please, I'm begging you, don't ruin it by s causing any trouble or being reckless. Hmm. We haven't yet heard of any great ways of getting through there. Just not to try. Lighting device. Alright, we've definitely run into these carts before. I 
assume I'm not supposed to just go off the end. Probably. Nope, that is death. So I have to get up. And the obvious thing is recall, I guess. Come on, guys. Oh, come on. Well, I guess I could recall you. There. All right, we're up here now. Took me a moment to figure that out. But no problem. Okay. Am I sinking in the sand out here? Or am I just slow? Slow, but it's also using a ton of stamina. Okay. So, presumably, we are attaching you onto there. And then I can just drive it around. No. So I will need to get those fans. Nope. Link. Ugh. Set you down there. Hey. Can I grab those from here? I can. Let's attach you so that I can grab both. Alright, perfect. Do I need two of them? No, probably not. Am I going to use both? Yes. Oh dear. It's possible that two fans is one fan too much. You stay there. Alright, logic would say that somewhere else is where our secret chest is rather than going right to the exit. Yeah, like here. Good. Seems to be parked nicely there. I'll take ten arrows. If I can make it there, that's a shortcut. Yeah. No problem. We'll just have to rebuild our same device again, which is easy to do. Nice and simple. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. There's twelve. So that's three hearts.
So no one's given me an answer of how to get there. Besides just possibly go into the updraft and sail over the top. Yeah, this is looking familiar. Oh, unbearable heat. Let's put on this. I'm hoping. Yeah. So let's hop from location to location, I think. Although I can't see any other spots that are poking up through the sand shroud. I mean, I could just try and fly straight towards it. Speaking of, let's mark you as a shrine. It'll be pretty obvious when we get there, but I might as well have it marked. Do I want to just try and go straight there? I don't think I want to go inside of the actual smoke areas. So it feels like going to this thing is smarter. Oh, come on, Link. You didn't jump, you just fell. Well, I made it to this thing. Oh! What if this water... Yeah, the water does keep me cool. Well, that's neat. Well, that got me to that thing. Desert Rift. Uh-huh. Well, was kind of in that direction to get to the city. So do I just try and get to the city? Hope I'm angling correctly. If I can find things that poke up high, they might allow me to... get where I can see. Oh! Or spring or rocket to poke my head up out of the fog. Alright, I'm getting what you're putting down. Oh, we've got another updraft here. That's even better. So, I did get a explanation of these from someone on YouTube where you hit it and then I have to personally catch it wherever it falls. Okay, and we are overheating, so I'll just eat some food. No, no, no. Did that not count? I think that did not count. I was catching the Korok. Of course it didn't. Is there anything back here? No. There is a chest there, actually. How would I get in there? Because there's no descend, just ascend. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's an obvious way to get inside. Alright, so if we try this again. There we go. So that's what you gotta do. You found me! Bye bye And now I know how to deal with those. So let's go to you, say.
Okay. So he's just right there. But they probably won't let me in. Because I'm obviously a Vo. Unless they're not keeping an eye out. Hello. Uh, no? What are you? Well, I don't like this at all. Huh. Like, this is a really good weapon I've got. 20 damage, and it's doing nothing to that guy. So I definitely need more information about that before we give it another try. Hey, you're not going to yell at me for being in here, obviously, as a dude. Right? Oh. Nothing to report. Hmm? Oh. Uh, a vo? Did you come here to escape the Sand Shroud? Well, you've reached the entrance to the Gerudo Shelter, but I cannot allow any Vo to pass through this door. Vo? Oh, you've never heard the word. Vo means man in Gerudo. There's a custom, really more of a law, that we Gerudo follow. A young Gerudo, young Gerudo are generally not allowed to interact with Vo. What's wrong? What's going on? A Vo wandered in here. What? Did you say Vo? There's nothing to worry about. The bow is very short and can't even reach the peoples in the door. He's out of sight, and even on his tiptoes, he won't be able to see in. Uh. Normally, Vo aren't allowed to even set foot within the walls of Gerudo Town, but this is a unique situation. Oh. So as long as you keep out of the shelter, I'll overlook your presence in town. If you're looking for some place to get out of the Sand Shroud, you can rest in one of the houses on the surface. <laughs> So you don't want me to be able to peek in. Wonder if she'd comment. <laughs> I hope the water current carries my letters far and wide. May they find the vow I'm destined to fall for. Hey, this isn't a place for junk. Don't you even think of throwing trash in. These waters are connected to the wells on the surface. They're absolutely not a garbage dump. Rude, I'm not throwing trash away. These are letters, letters to the vow of my dreams. They are very, very important. Okay. Run away from that monster. There's writing on this throne. Hmm. Well, let's head upstairs because that's where the shrine was. It's Riju's diary. I received an unsettling report from Balira, B Baliara today. A strange haze, some have called it gloom, is emanating from beneath Hyrule Castle. Those who touch it fall ill. But my friend Link and Zelda are in Hyrule. I'm sure that those two can get to the bottom of this problem. A new, much more worrying report has arrived. Both Link and Zelda have gone missing while exploring below Hyrule Castle. Shortly after they were lost, the castle lifted off into the sky, where it was joined by countless small floating islands. So much happening all at once. What is going on in the world? And are those two safe? Things grow more and more dire across Hyrule, and now the dangers come here as well. A sand shroud, the worst sandstorm in recent memory, has covered the area. People are taking shelter underground. We traveled out to see if we could discern the cause of it, but we were ambushed by new monsters called Gibdos. To make matters worse, I wasn't able to accurately hit them with the lightning I can call down. We're inundated with those seeking safety from the sand shroud or the Gibdos, and we still don't know what has caused this. As the chief of Gerudo Town, I am to blame for these failures. The fortifications protecting the shelter are strong. There's no way the monsters will be able to break through. We're also lucky to have a good source of water in the shelter, but we must watch for invaders trying to use the waterways. As a precaution, we should cover the hole behind the throne. Sitting here feeling sorry for myself won't solve anything. I'm going to leave Buliara in charge of the shelter and go train. 
The ruins to the north aren't, aren't too far. They should be the perfect place for me to practice with my lightning. Despite my worries for my people and for the world, I must do what I can. I know that's what Zelda would advise me to do. Oh, Lady Arbosa, if only you were here with us. Watch over us all in these dark times and keep Zelda and Link safe. Okay, so it sounds like we need to hit them with lightning, hopefully. There might be a hole behind the throne that I can use to get into the shelter. Which would probably annoy people. And we know that the queen is training to the northeast in a cave. First, let's check out this shrine. Buried light. Nope, I want this. I'm guessing this can blow sand around. Yes. Someone making the sand fully disappear. That's impressive. We've got a chest that probably contains a key. Yeah. Okay, one key down. Okay. Nope, miss. Did good damage. No, come on. There we go. Let's pick up all of my arrows. need that. Luckily that mirror is very indestructible. Because a normal mirror would not like to be thrown around like that. <laughs> yeah, I could obviously use a weapon with a fan on the end. There's definitely something up there. I... Do you make enough wind that I can glide off of it? You do. Alright, let's get you closer to the wall. Uh, I need a fan up here. 
If only I had a handheld fan. Okay. Well, let's drop this because I don't care. And pick you up. Nope. Come on. Why are you super failing, Link? Thank you. There we go. That's our secret chest. Ten more arrows. Probably have quite a few arrows at this point. Um, was that it? Just here for the secret chest? I guess so. We don't have a light yet. Let's ascend up here. Let's see what that gets me. So that's not going to be enough light to work with. Huh, and that was hitting with the fan weapon. Did good damage. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> You're gone, and this will be our light. Yeah. I don't need that bow. Nope. Alright, so we want to use this to send the light somewhere I can use it. Which is where? I guess actually, nope, did not want to fall off there. Keeping it on the ground floor is probably more useful. Something like that. Maybe rotate it a little bit. Yeah. Maybe that. If not, I can always readjust where we've got it sitting. And then we've got another mirror. Uh, being a little higher probably would have helped. I might be able to work with this still. Yeah. Okay, and I think that's it. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Oh, Mulduga, I remember them. <laughs>